All right, Sage, so I've heard about tensioning blades. Is that tension? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So, that blade has no tension on it. Zero. Okay, so to set up to make sure we can tension this correctly. What I want you to do, and this is the beauty of this heavy bandsaw. I've never had this on my bandsaws over the years. Okay, but we're gonna put tension on it now. This okay. has a quick release tension and the nice thing about that is at the end of the day You always release the tension that way you prolong the life of the tires on your wheels okay. So what I want you to do big D is grab that and bring it all the way down all tension way down. It. Okay, okay now I want you to pluck it Wow, okay, so that's got us a nice um, tone to it <laughs> I have a really deaf ear, but, and you're going to see as we go through this, there's several ways to attention uh, a blade and everybody has their way. You'll see a bunch of videos on YouTube, um, there, we're going to go through the eighth test, eighth um, uh, movement test. Uh, some people go by the tone, some people go to the flutter, I'll show you that one. I'm not going to go into all of them because at the end I'm going to show you something that has been invented that I think is the cat's pajamas. Awesome. Okay, so the one thing I wanna mention is <coughs> when we do this, I've taken the bearings of Liberty to take a bearings and move it away. Okay. That way when I show you the eighth inch test, um, the bearings aren't holding it back. And I, I'll gotcha. move the guard up pretty high and I move my uh, side to side bearings. Uh, I'll take my thrust bearing and move it back as well. Okay. So the first way I'm gonna show you to tension the blade is go like this to the blade and tap it. Okay, so that's good. Um, it's not a jam it, it's just, it's just a quick tap. And we're gonna see if the blade, when I show you this, uh, moves an eighth of an inch. Okay. And this is a very good way to tension the blade because the right tension on the blade is necessary because it prolongs the life of the blade. That's important. Keeps it uh, sharp. Okay, so I have it at tension and when I need to move more tension, this is the tensioning knob on this machine. Okay, and I really like that because that gives me a little more leverage and you also see the tensioning gauge here. Like I said earlier, make sure that that's all the way so now you, you have it. So it's, it's simple. You don't want the deflection to be more than an eighth inch. So what I do is I see the one inch Mac right here. I can take it to the two inch Mac too. And I line up the back of the blade like this and I go like this. Look at that. I think that's tensioned right. It only moves about an eighth of an inch. This is in between the 16th and an eighth, but it's good. I kind of like the tension when I'm resawing on this three quarter blade um, to be just about right. And I'll show you the result in a few minutes, how you can tell after you make the cut to see if it's tensioned perfect. What's another way that we can tension this blade? <laughs> okay, this is one that I'm not a big fan of um, because of different steels on blades, but it, it works in a, a pinch. Um, I'm gonna turn on the bandsaw, it's gotta be running. I always make sure that the guard is all the way up and the bearings are not touching, okay? So hopefully on camera we can catch this. It's loose right now. And you're gonna see a flutter to the blade. And I always look at the back here, okay, when I'm adjusting this. So what you do is you tighten it until the flutter stops. So let's try, I'm gonna turn it on. And you're gonna see a slight flutter to it. So then I take my tension up here and I bring it like this and I make sure that the flutter goes, and there it goes, just went away. So that's the flutter tensioning method. All right, Sesh, what's this? That's the way we're gonna tension all our blades going forward, and you gotta go get one of these. This is, I think, a roughly 40 bucks. It's called easytension.com. It is a no-brainer, easy way to set blades from, let's look here, from quarter inch all the way to three quarter. So I'm gonna take this little gauge out like this. Everything is stored right on board. The little hex key is here. And these are two rare earth magnets and that'll fit right on the blade. See this uh, um, screw right here? I'm gonna take it, put it right here on the bandsaw. 
And I'm gonna take this and put this little post right in here at three quarter, okay? And adjust the screw here. If I was gonna do a 5.8, you're gonna see there's a little slight offset. Hopefully you can see that. I have this adjusted, this post for three quarter. So I'm just gonna take that. Look how everything stores right on board. I think it was like 40 bucks that I got this. Um, I guess it's, the, I look, the company's right here. Good marketing, easytension.com. And it's simple, there's an arrow here. Oh duh, and Chris, let's just back up. I'm gonna come over here and you're gonna see it. There's two rare earth magnets right here and right here. And you're gonna see, oh my God, hopefully you can see this on camera. There's a very, cause I've loosened this, a very, very slight bow in your, this three quarter blade. So look how simple this is. I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna start tensioning it. So you tension it all the way up and when it pops, and you'll see right here, Chris, come in here so we can see this. See how that magnet popped away? You're done. The other thing nice about this is you can put this right here, it stores right there on your bandsaw. But let's go back to when we first started plucking this. Listen to this. Sounds about right. Sounds solid. So there's one of the tests I, I like to do is a real life test is actually resaw something. Okay. Because if there's not enough tension, you'll get a bow in the middle of the board. So what we did last time uh, in the bandsaw video, we, we resawed this uh, maple, this highly figured maple. And what I like to do is just take a good straight edge and look across each board like this. If there was a hollow or a dip in the middle, then I would have to put a little bit more tension on there. Okay. And if I look at this one, it's dead flat across the whole way. So you can always tweak the tension on the bandsaw. All right. So there are some simple ways of tensioning the blade. Um, the end result is to double check when you're resawing tall stock to make sure it is tracking right. Um, and that's how you tension a blade. And those are like the, basically the three ways. Awesome, well, one last question. When do we start talking about the bearings again? Aha, that's our next upcoming video. And I will tell you this, with this Javi uh, bandsaw, the Alpha, uh, what's the power? I don't know, by HW615, I always forget. This is a killer bandsaw. The, it really is. It's, it's, um, the thing is, is with the bearings, they're really easy to adjust, and I'll show you how I like to teach people how to adjust uh, okay. the bearings. Uh, it's pretty simple as well, so stay tuned, and as we always say at the end of these videos, be positive and stay sharp.